Hey everyone, it's Meg and I'm finally watching All-Star Superman. I keep saying that I'm going to watch it and I keep putting it up. So I'm finally sitting down and watching it. Woo! Yay! If you know me, you know I've been on a kind of Superman kick lately. I've been watching Superman the Animated Series and I wanted to sprinkle in a little bit of DC movies with Superman in them because I don't know just to spice things up so full disclaimer I might be spoiled by the the animated series because I just I love it so much so if I'm like hmm that's not like the animated series that's why but I am going in with an open mind I've heard great things about this and Superman already means a lot to me I know I'm a new fan but I think he's just really cool I love that it started as an immigrant story. It reminds me a lot of my own upbringing as a third culture kid. I know you thought I was going to say that I came from another planet. Anyways, as someone who moved around a lot and was born different from what I am ancestrally, I don't know if that's a word, I just love him. So I'm really excited to see what this is all about. And I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Let's get started. I hope this isn't sad. His parents. Desperate scientists. Pressure index 55 up. No, this is something different. Whoa. There's Clark. Copa, Superman. We're falling directly into the sun. When we hit the convection zone, the temperature will reach 40 million degrees. Jesus. I'm not ready to die just yet. Quintum. Vivi. <gasps> You killed your brother. Ah! I did. That should be impossible. I genetically engineered you myself. Oh. Your code has been modified by a superior intellect. Now I'm a biological time bomb. Uh. <laughs> I'm death. Courtesy of Lex Luthor. Oh. How big is it? From where I'm standing? One can only hope it's proportional. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Don't know that yet, Lois. Oh, that's Lois. I always write Superman stories before they happen. If you don't know how big the sun is, go away. It's 333,000 times the size of the Earth. Huh? Is that Jimmy? Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> nice. Lex Luthor told the world he'd reform. And despite our best efforts, the world believed him. That's not exactly breaking news, Chief. Okay, she's sassy still. Luthor planned to cash in on a global water shortage he intended to create by somehow tampering with the sun. Now that's sinister. That is sinister. Wow. I'm approaching critical mass. Fusion will occur in 30 seconds. Are you talking to yourself again? Oh. I'm remote controlling a weapon. Wait, this Luthor is kind of hot. <laughs> released from jail to work for your country oh he was not in jail i guess i'm not so spoiled because i accept all these characters so far all these interpretations what I is the mirror one morning and realize something what i'm getting older and he isn't superman something's gonna be done about that don't you think um fusion will occur in 30 seconds not in here it won't quit him pull the hat Oh. Get out, get out. Okay. Now you gotta save them. Whoa. Where's that shield coming from? It's Superman. How's he doing that? Extending his own bioelectric field. Oh Jesus. Oh, but then he's probably risking himself. He did it. It seems impossible, but it isn't. You're lifting 200 quintillion tons. Quintillion tons! Your trip to the sun overexposed your cells to solar radiation. More than even your body can metabolize. Your cells are oversaturated with power. They are bursting from within. <gasps> it's like <laughs> flu Icarus flew too close to the sun. <gasps> I'm sorry, Superman. My condition. Don't tell anyone. Not yet. <sighs> There are some things I have to do first. Shoot. I thought this wasn't going to be so sad. The 
Clock Cat doesn't show up in the next Oh, five exclusive seconds. interview. Fire. Fire. Four. No, 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 no. Two. What? Hold the presses. Go. Oh, he looks so different. Uh, working on my suntan? Oh my god, Superman has a dark sense of humor. <laughs> I love that. Lex Luthor, you are under arrest for attempted murder and crimes against humanity. By all means, boys, take me away. Um, well, because he got what he wanted. He knows that it aged Superman. Oh my god, he's so different. I'm so sorry. Your boyfriend's an idiot. Boyfriend? Uh-oh. How dare you? He's not my idiot. Why, thanks, Lois. <laughs> my self-esteem would be without you. Alone in front of the TV? Come on, Clark. <laughs> I love them. Lois, I have something to tell <gasps> you. Stop. Oh my god. Seriously? This is so satisfying. You're Clark Kent? I'm Clark Kent. Sorry, Superman, but you've got to admit, that's very hard to <laughs> To the Antarctica cave! Look at the Aurora Borealis! This is a great All first years, date. I spent trying to prove you were Superman. You almost had me a couple of times. Oh! Just tell me? What happened to that big golden key you used to have? Didn't think it was secure enough. Oh, she's been there before. That key can't be safe. Why don't you give it a try? I carved it out of a piece of dwarf star material. Oh. It half a million tons. Dwarf star material. How's the water? Mmm, perfect. You're not looking, are you? Lois. <laughs> well, to be honest, it reminds me of Elf. <laughs> yeah, she would look. So is this a date? I mean, is all this for my birthday? Are we about to get serious here? Aww. Superman? Oh. <laughs> These are for you. Oh. <laughs> I picked them on Alpha Centauri 4. <laughs> they um, sing. <laughs> They're beautiful. I've confiscated some incredibly destructive weapons. Nice. There are things here that can even hurt me, like this kryptonite laser. I hope none of your enemies find out about this place. They'd do anything to kill you. That's not a problem, Lois. You gonna tell her? My fortress is only for the people closest to me. Oh. Come see my new time telescope. Oh, he's chickening out. What's it do? Let's me talk to my descendants in the far future. That's Cal Kent, the Superman of the 84th century. I'm still working out the bugs. But oh my God. I'll be able to use it to stop threats before they happen. He looks a little like my dad. You are birthing a baby for him. Ew. What do you feed him? Sons. Little ones I make here on my cosmic end. <laughs> he has just like little pets. He's like collector. He's just a baby. <laughs> He's just a baby. <laughs> that is so precious. <laughs> What the hell? Oh. Oh no. What? What is happening? You can go anywhere in the fortress except for this room. Is this ever Is this Beauty and the Beast? Off limits. Wait. What was he doing in there? My trip to the sun, it not only tripled my strength, it tripled my curiosity, my imagination, my creativity. Did it triple your honesty? Okay. Okay. How do you explain the time Clark was a witness in the Boss Grimaldi trial and you were his bodyguard? Batman was standing in for me. Oh, nice! If you're telling me the truth now, doesn't that mean you've been lying to me for years? Uh-oh. And I have to ask myself, why would he lie to me? She's a smart cookie. What are you drinking, though? Because I feel like that's a special kind of water. Why is she sweating? I need a weapon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love her though. He's brought me here to be the mother of a race of super children. Oh. They'll grow up 
and lie to everybody. <laughs> Feisty. May I be of service, Miss Lady? She's a robot murderer. God forgive me. I've got to stop him. It's a robot. It wouldn't be. Oh. Huh. Tickles. I don't understand what's happening. Robot 7 seems to have malfunctioned. I'll check him out later. In the meantime, he left the door open while I was synthesizing some chemicals. They can cause visual distortion and paranoia. Oh. I'm sorry I kept leaving you alone, but I was making your birthday present. Oh. This serum is keyed to your genetic code. It'll give you powers just like mine for 24 hours. Oh. Happy birthday, Lord. That's so sweet. She's like, let me guzzle that. She really does oh. trust him. <gasps> You're floating. Before I deliver the verdict of this court. Oh, it's a cool courtroom. Place, Superman made me do it. <laughs> He's the one that should be on trial. Get this farce over with, you pompous, senile toad. You're an amoral, sociopathic predator, driven by jealousy, greed, and delusions of grandeur. Ooh. This court finds you guilty on all counts of crimes against humanity. Wow, they hate him. I'm really not at that point in the animated series. Oh, that's so romantic and cute. The last thing I wanted on your special day was a reptile invasion from the Earth's core. <laughs> what? Come on, let's save Metropolis. Oh, Superman can't actually die, right? We're a little late. <laughs> that would be so sad. Eat your children. How about you eat this? Whoa, who's that? Samson. Superman. Who's Samson? His lungs just burst. Excuse me. <laughs> What? Why are you here, Samson? Who is this? That we were, fair Lois. <laughs> oh. Atlas too. Atlas and Samson. They think this is a singles bar. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. The lady's with me. That's the lady's decision, is it not? <laughs> That's it. I propose a challenge of the ages. We'll each perform a super feat in the lady's honor. Yes. And the most incredible feat wins her. No. Wins me? Nuh-uh. How about we get these would-be conquerors back to the center of the earth where they belong? Would-be conquerors. The center of the earth. My son will punish me for his crime. Nice. Superman is a diplomat. He's a mediator. I love that he respects all species. Very sweet. Can you imagine? A race of dinosaur men who escaped extinction by moving to the center of the earth. That's so cool. Oh my god. The radioactive crown jewels of the Ultra Sphinx. Ooh. Look, guys, I'm flattered. But you'd have to go a long way to outdo Superman. If I win your heart, I'll make the Titans kneel before you. <laughs> okay, they're kind of annoying. <laughs> Lois, a moment, please. Oh. Why are you flirting with them? Maybe I'm teaching you a lesson for impersonating Clark Kent. I'm not impersonating Clark Kent. I am Clark Kent. Wait. Oh. Why don't you humor me? It's my birthday. Aww. That's cute. What do I have to do to make you keep your hands off of my girl? My girl. <laughs> what? All's fair in love and war. Forget it, Samson. Lois and I are going to a party in Atlantis unless... In Atlantis. I sincerely doubt it. What happened? Since we... Borrowed that necklace from the Ultra Sphinx. He's been hounding us like one of the Furies, chasing us throughout time and space. Oh no. The Ultra Sphinx is here. Oh. Oh my god. The Ultra Sphinx. She exists now in a condition of quantum uncertainty. Both alive and dead. What? The universe asks you an unanswerable question. Failure to answer correctly is death. Oh my god. You stole that necklace. Don't you see? We couldn't fight the Ultra Sphinx without help. So we let it chase us. <sighs> if she dies, you're both going to the Phantom Zone. Mm-hmm. What happens when the irresistible force 
meets the immovable object. Time to use your brains. <laughs> they surrender. Response acceptable. Whoa! Come on, we're going dancing. Cute. What about our um? No way. See, this is the thing. Oh, they actually are doing a contest about people who are like, oh, Superman is so overpowered. No, he's not. In the grand th scheme of things, he's very talented, always trying to be better, but he's not like the most powerful thing in the universe. He's just smart and he is a small town guy. He's just an arm wrestle. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that'll do it. <gasps> Atlantis. You know what I've always wanted to do? Kiss you. Smooch? Smooch on the moon? Oh, goodness. I'm blushing. Oh, 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 little foot kick. Fresh. They're cuddling. You do a great Clark Kent imitation. You almost had me fooled. Wait till I tell him about all this. What? Lois? She's sleeping. <laughs> I mean, if she stayed up for 24 hours, she's got to be exhausted. Well, that's a very precious Clark. <laughs> he loves her. It was the best of times. It was Call it off. Of times. <laughs> He's like a klutz as Clark. What an actor. I'm sure I had my dignity when I came in here. Was he supposed to get electrocuted? You coming, Kent? He gets a fancy cell. Second. Oh my god. Tell the truth. Doesn't his very existence diminish you? <laughs> diminish us all. In a world without Be careful with your form, dude. The unattainable Lois Lane might have noticed good old Clark <gasps> pining away in the corner. But with him around, you're a parody of a man. A dullard. A cripple. You don't even know the half of it. Okay. Lex Luthor is the guy the worst guy at the gym confirmed so how's superman these days <laughs> pale tired weak he seems he's fine. so jealous he's like in love with superman <laughs> he's obsessed with him what would you do if you had his powers help people you probably would you lack the imagination to see the alternatives what alternatives to every abstract notion he personifies. I'll kill you. Parasite! Suck you dry. Ew. Oh, no, kill Parasite. No. I, I saw the Parasite um episode. Jesus. Okay, how is he gonna turn into Superman? You guys need to put those kind of guys in Arkham Asylum. I don't like it. I do not like it. No. Uh-oh. Oh no. This is a disaster. Find the power. Find the power. <laughs> That's tear gas, you idiot. So he can change into Yeah. Nice. That's impressive. I love the beach on Meto Metropolis. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, that's terrifying. You want to survive this? Stay with me. <laughs> to Luthor's credit, he's not that terrified, which I didn't expect. <laughs> he's just doing all this stuff behind his back. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, he knows the power. Oh no, 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 no. I need you to tell my story. Oh my god. The story of a man who refused to bend his knee to the alien. All right, Luthor. Like the sun. Luthor probably thinks he's talking about him. Earthquake. Is Luthor going to figure out that it's Clark is Superman? Maybe he's too honed in. <sighs> You're just giving him more power, dude. Not very controlled. Oh my god. 
the same thing that's gonna happen to Superman. I've always liked you, Kent. You're humble, modest, comically uncoordinated, human. In short, you're everything he's not. Mm. Did you know that Moby Dick can be recited at a frequency so high that it becomes a sonic drill capable of carving through solid rock? Oh my god. Call me Ishmael. <laughs> you can escape it's the anytime back you want. I don't want. I'm going to the chair fulfilled, knowing that I killed Superman. Poisoned him with an overdose of the same solar rays that give him his power. Hmm. You can't prove any of this. Are you going to tell him how he could cure it? This is as far as I go. My lovely niece, Nostalfia, will take you the rest of the way. Niece? Um, uh, She's 16, speaks 30 languages, and aspires to someday rule the world. Okay. You and Superman could have been friends. Oh. die. Ah, but he'll die first. He is truly obsessed. He meant that. You could have been friends with Superman. Do you know what this is? It's the bottle city of Kandor. Brainiac. He used his technology to miniaturize the greatest city of my home world. I've been trying for years to restore the thousands of people who live there to regular size. Oh. found a way. The thing is, it's very far away. Even under normal circumstances, it would take me three weeks to fly there and back. Normal circumstances. current condition. So you're going to tell her? I'm dying, Lois. You won't die. You'll find a way out of this. We'll be together. Our children will go flying in Metropolis Park. Promise me. We can't have children. <gasps> Our biology is too different. Oh. So then who does he have kids with? When you get back, I'll be right here waiting. She's stubborn in the best way. I just love him with the starry night background. It's just so beautiful. I love this art style. Beautiful music as well. Oh, there he is. Wait, where's Sorry the... Sorry if I startled you. <laughs> where's the city? It's been a long trip, and I'm feeling a bit under the weather. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, he came back. Okay, I see. I thought they were on the planet. I was like, how? I don't know. What happened to Metropolis? What the hell? Kent, where have you been for the last <laughs> I went to your funeral. What? Well, to make a long story short, Superman heard me calling for help. Superman's alive? I knew it. Has he seen this? Oh. Oh. Refreshing. I don't know who they are, though. A fitting spot for the capital of New Krypton. Barel and Lilo, I just read all about you. Astronauts from Krypton who were lost in space for oh. decades. It's an honor to meet you. I'm from Krypton, too. I'm the son of Jor-El. We're probably related. I remember Jor-El. A weak man. See? Even with that, he was a small town dude. <sighs> this is not going to be good. I don't have any right to impose my will. Mm. Shit. <laughs> oh, and see? This is why I love him. Because they have the same powers as him. You just moved into my fortress? Shouldn't have left oh. the key lying around. The superiority of our Kryptonian culture. Ew, colonizers. You tore down the statue of my parents. We celebrate the life of Krypton, not her death. Um, no. What is wrong with you? I was thinking maybe you could replace me after I'm gone. Oh. But you don't have the best interest of this planet's people at hmm. heart. <laughs> and this is you puffing up your chest at me, is it? Oh, he has them. Oh no, they have him. <laughs> oh no. No, not our moon. He could have been like them. But he's not. His heart is different. <gasps> no! It took me a second. No. <laughs> it took me a second to realize what would happen. Why? I know you're behind me, Steve, so whatever you're doing, just stop. He really, he's the butt of the show. I missed you, Kent, your comedy gold. Oh. Your hairpiece is on fire. Nice revenge. Know. Your hairpiece. Oh. That's got to be a little embarrassing. <laughs> this is where Superman hides. 
It's worse than I thought. Oh no. You choose to disguise your greatness and cavort with the apes as one of their own. The apes? This is horrible. No! What happened? Are you using crypto kryptonite on her? Oh. You gotta go, guys. You're not welcome Take here. Naked. Hands away from naked. Her. I can't fly. Oh. I'm so weak. Why do I feel so weak? That means you passed through Krypton's debris field. Oh. And your bodies have been slowly turning to kryptonite. Oh no. I can't I see. Can't see. <gasps> After everything we've done, you still show us kindness. My Earth parents taught me forgiveness. Humanity has a lot to teach us. Kalel, son of Krypton, I'm proud to call you my kin. Send us to the Phantom Zone. Oh my God. Oh. Forgiveness. Oh. <laughs> you win, Luthor. I'm dying. The world is yours. I know there's good in you. They look really similar. Oh, like their facial structure, which is interesting. They're definitely foils. Oh. You showed me everything I needed to know so I could go on without you. Clark? You look thin. Are you sick? <laughs> Ma, I'm Superman. <laughs> and I'm your mother. You take better care of yourself. Yes, ma'am. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I love you, Ma. I love you too, son. <laughs> ah. What the hell? No way. He has something planned. Get away from me. You stink of the irrational. Oh. <laughs> Typical. 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 Superman doesn't even bother to show. Oh. <laughs> I'd planned for him to be here to see this. <laughs> you knuckle dragging morons. My last request? That cocktail was a 24 hour superpower serum. I knew it. I knew it. Two, two, one. Oh, goodness. I'd be pleased to clean the sun eater's pen for you, Superman. Just my way of saying goodbye to the little fella. Stop. He might be one of the most dangerous creatures in the universe, but I'm still going to... Miss him. Are you all right? <laughs> Superman's journal. Final entry. I have few regrets. My life has been a wonder. I had parents who loved me. Good friends like Pete, Lana, and Jimmy got to help people while living an incredible adventure. I loved a good woman and she loved me back. I'm tired. <laughs> but I still have one more job to do. Is Luther going to save him? His fortress is less than entirely secure. Oh. Wow, are you having fun, Luther? Unlike me, Superman loses his powers under red sunlight, right? Oh my god. Friends in high places. Oh! Where is Superman? Do you fear the tyrant's son? Face the scourge of- What? Luthor's secret ally has finally revealed himself. <sighs> my last adventure. I don't know who that is. Solaris. This my is last Superman. adventure. Signing out. Oh, so he knew. Beautiful outfit. I couldn't ask for greater loyalty. He's even Solaris sweet to the robot. He oh. poisons healthy stars, making <gasps> them emit blue light that he can metabolize. Oh, wow. I see now. Your covering protects you from mm. red sunlight. I will eat your sun and replace it in the sky. Oh, my God. This is nuts. Oh, shoot. Solaris overrode Robot 7's program. Oh. Robot 7 stole Super Serum for Luthor. Robot 7 must atone. Oh. His bar big heart even affects robots. Oh, you're forgiven. It's okay. What is this? The natural enemy of a rogue son. Yes! <laughs> and it's his, his quirks. And his heart that makes him win.
Because he loves that sun eater. Oh. You killed him. No! I didn't know. <laughs> Not the sun eater. No. Oh god. Get out of the car, Miss Lane. Everybody, now! You two are so postmortem. Um, girl. I don't think you used that correctly. <laughs> I don't think I have any left. Wow. Ooh. You killed his pet. Ken, what's the matter with you? You look like hell. Oh, he got out of it so fast. I've got tomorrow's big story. Just finished it. Oh, wait, I kind of love his outfit, that drip. It's a purple and a green in the turtleneck. Wow. He's the least of your worries. You get the hell out of here, Luthor. I don't believe in truth. Oh. You can't measure it or hold it in your hands. Oh. Let's stop it. I know what the power's <laughs> like. It's intoxicating, but there's more to it. Superman won't be coming to the rescue. That's too bad because without him, we're screwed. Look at these pictures from our Singapore desk. The sun is turning blue. You can save him? Solaris double-crossed you and poisoned the sun, you vain, stupid little man. Mm. Stupid. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Literally came back to life. Anyone else feel like acting out against the most powerful man on Earth? Oh, shush. Oh. <laughs> what are you trying to hide from me? Gravity gun. Oh! You thought, you thought, Luthor. Clark? Superman. <laughs> she still doesn't believe him. That would be funny. Oh no, he's still going. I've been on to you since Robot 7 first malfunctioned. Oh. Ooh. I just increased your personal gravity 500 times. Oh my god. He's such a nerd. You got to be a nerd to be a superhero. Oh, wow. Jeez. At least it doesn't alter his beautiful little face. Oh, my God. What a showdown. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he floating, too? Be moving into the White House later. <laughs> <laughs> moving into the White House. I can see the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Um. And those must be atoms. Little clouds of possibility. It's so obvious. What is happening? Relax. The mechanistic clockwork of reality hinging on a precious, impossible defiance of entropy. What is happening? And the clockwork doesn't care. He just figured out how everything works. Oh. Gravity warps time. His 24 hours of superpowers just ran out. But it's only been a couple of hours. Relative to us. Oh. The gravity gun sped up his clock a little. Looking for this. Wow. If it had mattered to you, Luthor. You would have tried before. You saved the world years ago. Mmm. You're right. No. Oh, you poor face. I'm turning into pure energy. This is sad. I love you, Lois Lane. Until the end of time. <gasps> she gets his cape. She doesn't look so sad, so I won't be so sad. This is how he would want to go, I guess. It's just, I'm sad. Stop! Anything for Earth. I didn't expect him to die. What the hell? Oh. He's not dead. He's up there fixing the sun. And when he's done, he'll be back. And I'll be here waiting for him. 
Forgive me, Doctor, for I have sinned. What? A lot. Oh. But there is one thing that I can do to honor his memory. Hmm? A A C C A T T A. What? A map of Superman's genetic code. I reverse engineered it from his 24 hour super serum. I also finally figured out how to replicate it. To make more Supermans? Of course, it will require an ovum from a healthy human. Oh, interesting. So, like. They always said they wanted children. Oh! Because when he saw his kids. He's not dead. <gasps> He's up there fixing the sun. So he's frozen in time? But what? I feel like she's in denial. Or does she just kind of understand that time is all relative? Like that speech that um, Luthor was giving? Or will he actually come back? Is this his death? I don't know what is canon if it is his death it is it's beautiful but i guess well i really want to watch i want to read the comics or the comic i have the comic and that's going to be the first comic that i read from for superman i'm just like okay so he actually died and it's interesting that i was recommended to watch that first because with Batman, there's a general continuity for what is canon. So it was just weird to see, like, to see him die. I, like, I guess I'm in denial. <laughs> kind of like Lois. Dying isn't always sad, because especially with Luthor's last speech, it's like, I don't know. I can sense, though, there's this huge world for Superman that I haven't mean, even scratched the surface of, because... I'm going to compare it to Batman because I'm also diving into Batman at the same time. Batman has, it's based in Gotham. There are, you know, a lot of awesome villains, but there's like a certain number. And um, while there are different locations that happen, usually it's based in Gotham. And I did not realize how big the Superman world is, galaxy, because you got all these interstellar fights you know just like totally on this grand scale of things and i love the space fights i've never been a sci-fi fan but i like the aliens i like just how into the nitty-gritty of science they dive into it's just it's also vi visually beautiful i love space in terms of like thinking I'll return there when I die and learning more about the vastness and, you know, the planets and stuff. So it's just the show, the animated series, and then also this movie. I feel like it was the perfect movie to watch first because it inspires so much awe in me. And I feel like it satisfies this, this, this wonder that I have for the universe and it's just everything's so much bigger. So maybe that's why it's okay for him to die in some in some stories, in some storylines, because it's just so much bigger than him. And that's like an important lesson we have to learn with grief and death. Is like we have to accept that it's <laughs> part of humanity. And Soups was a human. I love his heart. I love his personality. I love that he really isn't because I just feel like a big criticism from people who don't know really they haven't witnessed or experienced much superman stories they think he's just like overpowered super privileged you know and it's easy for him but it's actually not and it's his small town self that saves the world a lot of the time i love that he's a collector like he's nerdy in that way he loves pets he loves taking things from different places he's been because that's something we can all relate to. And he was even able to get through to those cocky <laughs> Kryptonian people. Because sometimes I think, well, maybe it's just Krypton because the first few episodes of the animated series were, his parents were amazing. 
is his Krypton parents. <laughs> and um, I maybe thought it was like in the blood if you were a Kryptonian, but that is not true at all. It's his personality. It was the way he was raised by both the Krypton parents and the Earth parents. You know, I related it at the beginning to my upbringing because I'm just from so many different places. I moved around a lot as a kid, different continents, cultures, and countries. And sometimes I feel like a little lost because I can't point to a specific place that, you know, I belong. But I love the story of Superman because it's just about appreciating every little thing. And if he was just from Krypton or just from Earth, he wouldn't be able to save the world and save people like he does. But I'm just really loving his personality. <laughs> Again, I'm just really glad I watched this because I just want to read and consume and watch much more Superman <laughs> because he's just so charming. He's He's got a very like down to earth personality and I love what they did with him and Lois. The way that he took her out for her birthday was just absolutely precious. Yeah, I also really like Metropolis. I liked the shore and the beach. I don't remember that in the animated series, but I've only seen what, like eight episodes? And this Luthor was interesting. That's the only thing I feel a little bit spoiled by. I really like the Luthor in the animated series. And I feel like he's always going to be the main one for me because I love how under control he is. He's very calm and collected. And I saw that a bit of that in this, but he got emotional and, and kind of lost control and was just rage filled and was very blinded by Superman. So I appreciate the Luthor that's like <laughs> cool, calm, collected ladies, man, and just really, really intelligent. But I still, I still enjoyed it. Yeah. I want to learn more about all the villains and stuff. I'm really excited. I do have a watch order for these DC movies and I'm so excited to watch Henry because I haven't seen that. I haven't seen his Man of Steel. So that's definitely on the list. Probably when we get to like the Dark Knight live action trilogy because I've only seen the Dark Knight. I haven't seen the other Batman ones. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and a special shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for subbing over there. If you're interested in joining the Patreon, you can watch everything alongside me, uncut, unedited. But thank you so much to my existing patrons. I love you all a lot. It helps so much. And like the video if you liked it. Subscribe, turn notifications on, check out my other stuff. I'll see you next time for the next DC animated or live action movie. Love you. Bye.